Okay, so what we're going to be looking at now is the horizontal and vertical components of a force. So the horizontal, which is sideways, and the vertical components of a force are the sideways and the upward upward parts of a force. So let's take the example of a hundred newton force. This is what's called a free body diagram and this force is acting at an angle of 30 degrees to the horizontal. Now if we want to we can break this force up instead of being an ugly force at an angle of 30 degrees into two forces the first force is a horizontal force and the second force is a vertical force. And this is what's called the horizontal component and the vertical component of that force. Now in order to calculate the size or the magnitude of these forces we can use a little bit of trigonometry. So we know the angle and therefore sine of the angle of 30 degrees is equal to the vertical over 100 newtons, which is the hypotenuse. So the vertical component of this force is equal to 100 newtons sine of 30 degrees. And if you get your calculator out, you realize sine of 30 is 0.5, which means that the vertical component of this force is only 50 newtons. So the vertical component is 50 newtons. So this force is moving upwards 50 newtons. Therefore, the cos 30 degrees must equal the horizontal component divided by 100. 30 degrees, cackle, horizontal over the hypotenuse. So the horizontal part of this force is 100 cos of 30 degrees. Now cos 30 is around about 0.8, which if you use in your calculator, means that that becomes around about 86.6 newtons. So the horizontal component of this force is 86.6 newtons. So in this way any one force at an angle can be calculated into its vertical and its horizontal components.